Hello my dear friends, my name is Sanna and welcome back to another beauty video. Today we're just gonna play with some makeup again because I have something that I need to try. So basically the concept of today's video is really simple. I have a big box of Chaos Dirt eyeshadows here. They're my absolute babies. I love these with all my heart. They are beautiful. I use them every single time I do my makeup. But there are a few shades that I bought that... I just somehow can't really seem to use or yeah I, I, I just don't really know how to use them with the rest of my collection and it's difficult and like all of these shades are so so beautiful these are my absolute babies I love these but for some reason a few shades they just don't work in my collection somehow I, I can't get them to work yet so I have given myself the challenge to use every single Chaos Dirt eyeshadow this year, at least once. So I can, you know, try out a few different shades and maybe find a new way to use these shadows and find a way to use the unusable ones for me. I'm not saying they're unusable shadows, but for me just the shade is not good. So I have given myself the challenge and today we're gonna start and we're gonna try and just play with some makeup and create a look around one eyeshadow which is so beautiful i bought these because the swatches looked gorgeous the idea of it it all spoke to me but i just haven't used it yet because i can't get it to work in my collection and it's this shade it's beautiful it's called dragonfly and it's this beautiful blue that shifts to a beautiful purple and I just love that concept. It's gorgeous. It, it's, it's just beautiful. And I really want to use it. But for some reason I have just not been able to use it. It is because this type of blue just doesn't exist that much in my collection. It feels like a very, like, I don't know, almost jeans kind of blue. Which makes it a bit more difficult for me. But yeah, this is it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It turns into this beautiful purple. But as you can see, it's just a really interesting type of blue that I feel like I don't really have in my collection or I just haven't found it yet. So I want to dive into this shade today and just create a look surrounding that and just do something fun with this. So we're gonna sit down, I'm gonna do a full makeup look, I'm gonna chat a little bit and we're gonna try to make this color work. So it's not in the way. I washed my hair last night and I slept with it wet, which I know isn't the best, but still. Um, and it just... Look how poofy it is. It's so big. It's giant. But there's a lot of heaviness in the bottom, so... I don't know, I might need a haircut sometime soon. Anyway, that's not why we're here. I don't know if you've seen it, but I reorganized my makeup collection and I now have all my makeup just sorted in a nice convenient spot for it. And it just makes me... like my, makes me... my fingers tickle and I just want to use all the different products I have. Like, instead of focusing on one or two, I just want to try a different one every day. And I, I've been doing that. So I also wanted to do that with this look. And I'm just gonna try different stuff that I maybe usually don't really gravitate towards. So we're gonna get into it. Also, I've been picking at my skin, like, just now. Um, I have really bad skin right now compared to what I usually have. I have a lot of texture and blackheads right now. Um, I think it is because of the stress that I'm facing because I'm nearing the end of my internship. Wait, let's get into it. Wait, I'll talk to you in a minute. Let's first get into the first product. So I'm first gonna use the Maxim More Hydrating Primer to prime my face. And this is really old, so I don't know, I might as well just be ruining my face even more right now, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm like at the last a week of my internship tomorrow is Friday and next week on Friday I have my end presentation for the department and I don't know that just makes me so nervous and it gives me so much stress and I think that's why I'm breaking out a tiny bit it's not like bad I've never had terrible breakouts just a tiny bit when I was in my teenage years but I've been very very lucky with my skin but I just have like a few mainly like clogged pores, tiny tiny white heads, a few black heads and um, yeah so I've just been picking at that just now so uh, that's why my skin looks like that. But we got my face primed so we can get to the next step. So I'm gonna cover my face using the Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream um, which I'm always a tiny bit careful about because as you can see it's a weird color. This is the lightest shade 
but it's a tiny, I, I don't know. It sometimes feels like it's a bit too dark for me, but it's just a bit too gray toned, I guess, for my skin. Since I'm a very, very rosy cheeks kind of person, like there's a lot of redness in my skin, and then this just feels extremely gray. I like what it does to my skin, I like how it makes it look, but also I feel like the color isn't right, so I don't think it's too bad. It might make me look a tiny bit deeper than I am, but I can fix that with some concealer. Just slightly to even out the skin, a lot of the redness is already gone, so that's nice. I'm just gonna cover it a tiny bit more with some concealer. There's even SPF 38 in this one, so that's really nice. Of course I wear sunscreen every day, but it's just a nice addition, you know, to also have it in your makeup. And then we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And we're going in with a fully new tube. I've used this only once. You've seen my, my almost empty, like, scraping out the final, final bits uh, tube in my last video. But now we have a fresh one. I ordered one and I'm excited about it. I'm just... I keep forgetting how absolutely little amount I have to use with this one so we're just carefully adding some product hopefully not going overboard we'll see I feel like this is already way too much I feel like I'm gonna cover my entire face with this because this stuff is pretty like you really only need the tiniest bit with this one I have ginormous bags under my eyes I don't know but you can <laughs> You can tell by my face and my skin that the stress is kind of getting to me. But it's so weird because I'm also like weirdly relaxed about it. I'm pretty confident. For my internship to finish, I need to write an academic report on my experiments. And I need to give a presentation about my experiments to the department. I thought I had the entirety of next week to like finish up my report and work on my presentation. But then... Yesterday some new stuff came in so I can still do like one more big experiment So I have to do one more big experiment and it's gonna take like a lot of next week So that is a bit annoying and it added a tiny bit of stress for me But also I've been writing my report today and I get to do like a first version a first draft and get some feedback I'm almost already finished with my first draft and I'm feeling pretty good about it And I have the entirety of next week to put all that info into a presentation and then also finish up my experiments and add all that extra data, finish up the first draft. And then I can, you know, get some feedback. And then, like, I don't really have a specific deadline for the report. So I can just basically take, like, a week longer, two weeks longer, even a year longer if I want. But just to, like, go through the feedback, add it to the, the paper, and then finish up my report. And I don't know, every time I think about it and I kind of, like, rationalize it like that, I'm like... I have so much time. We're gonna be fine. This is this is gonna be fine. But every time I think about next week, I'm like stressed. So it's a bit of a weird mix. Doing great though. So <laughs> next thing. Gonna be using a cream blush today. So I'm going into the Kruidvat Blushing Beauty Cream Blush Stick. Which is a really lovely burgundy kind of color, like berry. This is in a shade. Does it have a shade? Two Charming Berry. Wow, yes, it is a berry color then. Just like using my fingers for this type of thing. This one just blends out like into nothing almost. So I'm just gonna keep adding and blending out because I feel like this isn't enough. This is more like a, a blush for subtle everyday makeup kind of days. And I'm just not an everyday makeup kind of girly. I'm sorry, I'm not on the nose. I'm just tired. <laughs> Let's powder that off and I'm going in with a different powder than usual. Which you're probably not used for me. I'm going in with the Before Anything Else Shake Up Banana Baking Powder. This is by Hema. It's Bay by Hema basically. I forgot this one just... There's so much. So much. Oh. Yep. Yep. Exactly. I forgot this one just drops that much powder into the lid when you shake it like once. It's just so much. And we're just gonna set underneath my eyes. 
And then I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy powder brush to set the rest of the face because I don't want it to look cakey. And I kind of forgot why I didn't like this powder, but I know now. I shouldn't use this in the winter because this one makes my skin look yellow. Um, which always makes my skin and my foundation look too dark for me. But over here, I feel like my blush that I applied is all covered up again, but we'll deal with it. Let's fill in those brows a tiny bit. <gasps> I did it. Oh my god! Life pan, guys. Do you see that? Ah! I was just talking about it in... I feel like it was literally my previous video. I was wondering how long it would take me to hit pan. Well, literally just one look later, basically. Fun times. Like, on the one hand, I hate it because... Especially in products that you absolutely love. You use them a lot because you love them. And then you're running out of them. That's, like, sad. But... I have so many products right now that I'm just really focused on using up stuff and using my collection and then hitting pen is just like magical. And also like I have the like a tiny pen right now in that big dip that I have going on. But I still have so much left. I feel like I can go another two to three years with this powder, so I'm good. Well that was exciting, wasn't it? And we're going in with a different brow gel this time. This is the Kruidvat Shape Up Brow Lamination. Water resistant. It has a lovely tiny brush. So let's prime our eyes. And I'm going into the Maximore Eye Primer. Which is from the Advent Calendar. And it's translucent. So we're just gonna apply a tiny bit. Make sure our lids are sticky. And then, because we are of course working with this blue... I think I'm gonna go into my favorite blue palette at the moment, which is, you guessed it, the Odin's Eye Christmas Eve palette. I've used this so many times since I've got this. Is It's like, I think this might be my favorite palette at the moment, like in total, out of all my palettes, because it just, oh, it, it's stunning. I can go on about this forever, but I freaking love this palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Nightfall. I don't know, I feel like it might be close in shade to the base of um, Dragonfly, which is what, of course, what we're going for. So I'm just moving that into the crease, making sure our primer isn't like creased up, because then it will turn into a weird look. I'm beginning to feel like I don't like this primer, actually, because I freaking love this palette. And right now when I'm playing with this shade, I am not loving this. Even though I've used this shade before, I absolutely love this shade. But the way it's looking on top of this primer is just not it. You can tell how patchy that is. I, I'm not vibing with it right now. Which just create a bit of a wing shape, which is basically my go-to shape when I'm doing eyeshadow. I'm really boring like that. I have like two shapes and that's what I do. No, I'm not vibing with this primer at all. It's not making this shadow look good. I'm considering if I want to go in with a deeper shade or not, but I don't think so. Then I'm just quickly gonna go in with a different palette because I want to get into a cool toned purple. So I'm going into the Maximore Floral Romance palette, going into the shade Dreamer. I'm gonna apply that on that inner corner. Looks way more brown on my skin. It's also turning really pitchy. I, this primer is just really not it. I should have set it maybe before I used it or before I started putting eyeshadow on top, but we're, it, it's too late for that. It's too late. Want it to be a tiny bit more pastel, I guess. So I'm going into the ColourPop Fade in Geo palette, into the shade Selfie, which is that tiny bit pastel purple stuff <laughs> eyeshadow. Blending that mainly around that edge. I never thought a primer could mess up a look so much. I am really not vibing with this. I thought I would have a good time doing my makeup, but no. It's not in the cards for me today. It just, it's not looking good. It's really not like this. You see that? Ugh. Anyway, we'll work with it because I'm also a bit too lazy to take it off. 
Then I guess we're just gonna add all those sparkles because we need some sparkle to save this. So of course, first I'm gonna go in with Dragonfly because that is the color we wanted to work with today. And I feel like this blue shade that we used, it's a good match. That looks nice. This is what I've been looking for for a while because I just never knew what match shade to match with this base color because I felt like it was just such a strange type of blue that I didn't have but this one matches really well so I'm just applying that all over the lid so it gets its time to shine that is actually really nice that combination is great I love it I'm glad I found something to match it and then I want to go in with purples because I just want to add purples I feel like this shade would just match really well. This one from the Odenstein palette, wonderful. I feel like I am getting a tiny bit of hard pan in because I always go in with my fingers, you know, whatever. I'm just dragging that in the inner corner of the lid and into the crease because that's where I love my sparkles to be. Okay, I love all the sparkle going on over there. That's nice. Okay, I'm vibing with it a tiny bit more. There is, why is there? Why? I just do makeup like a normal person? God. And then I think I'm gonna go into the shade Whimsy because I want some purple in my inner corner. I think this might be a tiny bit too pink, but it's whatever. I just want all the sparkle. I am vibing with it a tiny bit more now. I do really like Dragonfly, it's beautiful. It also has like a tiny, it kind of like shifty. It has a tiny bit of a greenish shift to it as well. I'm definitely gonna add this one to my waterline. This is the Maximore Eye Pencil in the shade. What do we call it? Enchanted, just like a nice purple. And I just want to put that in my waterline. I feel like this look is just missing so much. It's just, it's just missing something. Do I need to deepen up the outer corners a bit? Maybe a tiny bit. Maybe I do that. Going in a tiny bit with Night Sky from the Odin's Eye palette. Okay, that does, does help. A tiny bit. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. That does make it a bit better. Yes, okay. Oh, that, that helped. That definitely helped. Okay, I'm vibing with it so much more now. Yes. <laughs> That's what I needed. Okay, then I want to do some creative stuff. So I'm gonna grab myself a, a liquid liner brush. Ow, God, put myself on the fucking cactus. I'm not doing too good today. <laughs> this is not my day. It is a, it, it has been my day. My day has actually been pretty good because the writing for my report went really well today as well. So I, I don't know, I've been having a good day. I want to go in with something fun. And colorful. This is the Shall We Makeup Liquid Eyeshadow Multichrome in the shade Intruder, which is a beautiful purple one, if I can open it. And I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand so I can draw something with it. What am I gonna draw? I do want to do dots, I think. And I'm going in with that shade. Leather it up there. Want to draw a pretty big dot that's fun and then we're gonna draw like dots next to it and we'll gradually make them smaller and it's cute because it's like because it's a multi-chrome it just shows up in certain lighting i think that's cute i'm feeling a lot better about this look now let's do some highlighter i'm excited because i picked a highlighter that i haven't used in a little while oh i forgot to do this wait i can still do that definitely I brought bronzer. I never use bronzer, you know that, but I wanna. So, we're gonna. So, I have the Essence Kissed by the Light Illuminating Powder. Second one, which is basically just a bronzer. So, I don't really use bronzer at all, so I also don't know if I'm doing this right. Um, but I don't really mind. We're just doing whatever. I'm in a silly, goofy mood. I also know like bronzer is not equal to contour. You can use it a bit. I use bronzer as contour, but bronzer is just to make your face nice and glowy and bronzed. And contour is like to snatch the face. I know that. I just don't know how to do it. 
so I, I don't use contour, I just use a tiny bit of bronzer. And I can use it in the way you would use contour, I guess, and that, that's it. And then we're gonna get into the highlighter, which I'm really excited about, because this is the Essence from Santa with Love Face and Body Highlighter. This is a limited edition one. I've had it for a few years. And it's, it looks gross, because it's like a jelly texture. I think you can see that. My foundation and concealer gets in there, so it looks disgusting. But it is beautiful. And I've heard people say it is a dupe for the Fenty... Um, the Fenty one? But the Diamond Balm? I'm glad I have it, I guess. Won't you look at that? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, glorious. So... We got a look going on. Look how cute those dots are. I just love adding dots to looks. If I don't know what to do with a look, I just add dots. Anyway, let's do the lips. I'm going in with the Essence Honestly Soft and Precise Lip Pencil. Oh, it's a lip pencil in the shade Honestly. It's one of the few more cool toned ones. Or at least I think it's... I'm really bad at undertones. So uh, it could be very much not cool toned. But I feel like it looks good with the cool toned eyeshadow. That's all that matters. Okay, we're gonna apply the matching lipstick, which is the Essence Hydro Matte Lipstick in the shade Honestly. My lips are too crusty for this. I might just do a face mask after this, just so my skin can calm down a bit. Because I have some time. I can do a face mask while drinking tea. Doing a puzzle, amazing. Okay, let's do mascara, and I'm using a different mascara for once, because you know I always use the same one every single day. I don't like how much product is on this wand at all. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting spider lashes, because there's just so much on this brush. My lashes are just getting so thick. I don't like how this mascara looks. I like how it looks on this eye, but that is after I've already rubbed everything from the brush onto this eye and these lashes are like thick and clumpy and still not dry by the way. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think this mascara is for me. I just don't really like it. I'm sorry. I love all the other Vain Beauty products that I have but the mascara is just not for me. Also, oh my god, I'm obsessed with that highlighter. I think I might go for some of my all-time faves right now because I, I need something trusty. It's gonna bring me back. So I'm gonna go into the LA Splash Phantom Lashes. Let me just stick these bad boys on for you and then I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with the finished look and I must say, I don't know what it was, but something rescued it and I'm happy with it. I love how it looks. It's quite simple, but I like the little added dots. They add a tiny bit of creativity and I love the colors and Dragonfly is just a beautiful shade right there on the lid. It's gorgeous. So I'm really happy with how this turned out and I am so happy I finally found a shade that actually matches Dragonfly so I can wear it a bit more often because it's, it's just pretty and I want to use it and it's just a bit difficult to find a shade that really matches it. I am glad I added that deeper shade in the outer corner in the end because that really was what was missing. I was, it was just too flat and now it has a bit of depth to it and it's just, it's pretty. I like it. And that highlighter, oh, I keep forgetting how good it is and then I use it and I'm like, oh, I should use it more often and then I don't use it for like a month. It's beautiful. So anyway, this is the finished look using Dragonfly by Chaos Dirt. I have learned a few things about some products that I might not use anymore, so that's also good. And we hit pan today. Life pan action. Wow, I did not expect it to be this soon, but we love it. So yeah, this is the finished look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my blog, my socials, my gaming channel. And everything else you need to know about me is all linked down below. So you can check that out as well. And that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Toodles!